So you have decided to create a black water setup and you're thinking how to stock your black water aquarium. Then this video might be useful for you. So now I will share a few tips uh, based on my own experience of uh, keeping uh, black water tanks for, for a number of years and uh, I'll probably start with, with a bigger um, issue, fish that you probably shouldn't be keeping in your black water aquariums. So we all know that the black water is generally soft, it's uh, quite acidic, it's uh, rich with tannins and humic acids. What this means is that we can't really keep in this uh, system any hard water fish, any alkaline water loving fish such as for example your Malawi or Tanganyikan cichlids or uh, Lake Victoria cichlids most of the live bears will not thrive in black water because it's soft and uh, acidic uh, the only live bearer species that I would probably recommend you can potentially keep in black water is wild caught um, and Largapis, because in the wild they also uh, live in uh, soft water and uh, alkaline environments. But you have to make sure that you have a real wild caught stock, not farm bred and endlers, because farm bred endlers are frequently kept in water, in harder water. They, they uh, breeders even sometimes add salt, so they're going to suffer if you uh, will transfer them into your black water tank. So that's the only life bearer I would actually recommend. Also, I would not recommend keeping in black water your rainbow fish uh, Australian or um, any other rainbow fish uh, they, they will not thrive in black water as well I will not recommend keeping uh, Central American cichlids uh, because they originate from uh, neutral or hard water cl clear water um, rivers and lakes and uh, they will not thrive in these environments as well it goes without saying that you shouldn't be keeping any brackish species of fish I in black water because they clearly need harder water, closer to marine, uh, clo closer uh, to salt water conditions and obviously they will suffer immensely in black water. But if you think that the list of species you can actually keep in black water is, been, is shrinking, you're absolutely wrong. There are actually hundreds, uh, possibly thousands of species of freshwater fish that will thrive in black water conditions. Basically, most of the South American fish... Uh, quite a few of uh, Central American fish will actually, but definitely most of South American fish will thrive in black water conditions. So these are a lot of South American cichlids. Uh, uh, most of uh, different uh, tetra species, uh, caracins, uh, caridoros, uh, plecos, and South American catfish. Also lots of uh, Southeast Asian species that we keep in our uh, fish tanks, barbs, rasboras, uh, they will thrive in black water environments as well. The same goes for uh, West African, West uh, Central African uh, species uh, from like Congo River Basin and uh, places like Nigeria, Cameroon and uh, all that West Coast of Africa. Uh, they will thrive in black water conditions as well. So we're probably talking about uh, really hundreds of species that will thrive in black water uh, acidic conditions. Well, I know saying that uh, you have literally thousands of options doesn't really help you to choose uh, stocking for your black water aquarium and it probably makes things even harder for you because you'll start thinking that you can basically add any kind of uh, tetra in your uh, or any kind of a uh, South American cichlid into your black water tank and uh, uh, we, which is basically true but there are a few things uh, that probably will uh, make your black water fish keeping uh, more convenient and more enjoyable and I have a few tips to share that will hopefully facilitate your choice of a proper um, stocking for your black water tank. So tip number one I'm usually trying to pick up a fish that will stand out in black water so they either have some sort of a bright markings or some sort of a iridescent uh, type of uh, lighting like neon tetras or cardinal tetras or any sort of tetras that have a uh, bright colorful silvery reddish uh, bluish markings that will always be visible in darkness in black water that's why i really love such fish as well uh, they're very much a bread and butter fish but i love this fish uh, such fish as uh, 
cardinal tethers, neon tethers, uh, black neon tethers, because they all literally shine in black water. You can see them from a distance. And even if you maintain a really high level of tannins in your uh, black water um, setup and it's almost black, let's like here, you can still see these shining uh, cardinal tethers uh, darting around the tank and uh, they're very noticeable even in complete darkness. And this is what I love about this fish. Yeah, I know they're very much uh, common and they're not considered to be rare or ex unusual, but nevertheless, they're perfect options for a black water tank. So different uh, tetra species, um, uh, different other species of fish, maybe some guramis uh, for South American black water setups, uh, which have this kind of a bright markings, bright colors to stand out uh, in the um, in the black water. The reason is that we create these setups not just for fish to feel comfortable and to enjoy this natural environment, but also for, for ourselves to actually see the fish uh, in um, these setups, which takes me to the point that it's probably not a good idea to keep fish that try to blend in into their environments. That will basically, once you, you put them in a black water tank, uh, they will try to get as dark as possible and you will actually have trouble just seeing them there and you will probably never even uh, enjoy having them in this setup because you will not be able to actually watch them and to see them properly. So this takes me to um, a discus fish. Uh, I know that quite a lot of people dream about having a black water biotope style tank with, with a group of beautiful wild discus living there, uh, which is basically their natural environment. Most of the discus fish in the wild, they live in black water. And I've, uh, I've been there and I've tried that a few times and uh, to be honest I was quite disappointed. Uh, for all of us who keep discus we know that discus always try to blend in into their environments. So if you keep discus in a tank with a dark um, substrate or or with a black background, they will always uh, darken up. So they will try to get as dark as possible in order to um, mimic that environment, in order to disguise themselves and to blend in, into those environments. The same happens in black water. So wild discos uh, will literally get really dark, almost blackish, and they will try to blend in into this uh, black water environment. And when I kept bla um, wild discus in black water, sometimes I couldn't even see them there. They were there, but they would blend in so perfectly, they will kind of hide themselves among the roots, among the plants, and so on. So it's really hard to observe them. The same, for example, happens with uh, wild type severums. They will try to blend in as well. They will they will get as dark as they can and it will be hard to see them in black water. The same goes for quite a lot of wild species of apistogramma, not f uh, farm bred apistogramma, which have all, all, all of these bright colors which will still stand out in black water, but wild, uh, wild caught apistogramma, they will try to blend in as well and uh, you will not see much of them either. But don't worry if you're thinking about a feature, a cichlid for your black water tank. Uh, uh, you can always go for wild type or wild caught angel fish such as Monacapuru, Rio Nonai or Altum angels. They have these outstanding uh, silver stripes which will really stand out in uh, black water and they will kind of shine very similar to cardinal tetras uh, but of course different uh, uh, co color variation, but uh, they will stand out in black water and they look absolutely amazing. So uh, if you're thinking uh, whether you should go for discus or for angel fish in your black water setup, I would recommend you to pick up angel fish because uh, they will look amazing in black water. So tip number two is about uh, plecos. Uh, I know most of us want to have some plecos in our tanks, especially South American tanks, and uh, you can of course keep quite a few uh, plecos species in black water but there are a few uh, caveats uh, to consider so first of all, uh, there are a lot of uh, pleco species from South America uh, which do not live in uh, black water in their natural habitats. They, uh, they don't naturally occur there. For example, Hippancistrus species such as zebra pleco, uh, king tiger plecos and other Hippancistrus species. Also Pseudacanticus um, species of L number pleco such as cactus plecos. They naturally, um, the in, in the wild, they live in clear water uh, habitats. So if you create a black water biotope for your zebra plecos, probably it's not going to look very 
very original. Uh, they will still feel fine in there because they will enjoy soft water. Well, the other problem with Plecos in a black water setup is that most of us uh, would prefer to have not just black water, but also a layer of leaf litter and botanicals on, on the bottom of our tanks, which is kind of complementary to a black water setup. The problem is that if you add any herbivorous Plecos, such as, for example, Bristol nose Plecos or any other ancestral species to your uh, black water setup with leaf litter, they are going to feed on this leaf litter. And after a relatively short period of time, instead of your beautiful uh, leaf litter bed, you're going to have a kind of a mishmash porridge of half-eaten leaves, which will clog your filters. So that's another consideration uh, when keeping uh, Plecos in your black water tank. Uh, in terms of larger Plecos, uh, such as Banak species uh, in a black water setup, they will probably also create quite a bit of mess because uh, they will be moving around and they will be shifting your leaf litter bed. And normally you would prefer your leaf litter bed to be kind of static, to be kind of stable, so that the, your leaf litter stays where it is and not just moving around the tank. So tip number three concerns flow or uh, fast moving water in your black water setup. Well, normally uh, we, we would prefer not to have any sort of flow in our black water uh, aquariums uh, because the flow will move a leaf litter around, it will move uh, botanicals around and most likely most of your leaf litter will end up just in one corner of the tank. I've been previously trying to create uh, black water setups with a relatively fast flow or even with a uh, average flow but it was still a challenge because of it just moves a leaf litter around and eventually some of that leaf litter gets stuck in, in our filters and so on. So uh, the most uh, preferable setup is uh, without uh, f uh, fast flow or without any flow at all. For example, in this uh, black water tank, I don't have any flow at all. There's absolutely no water movement in, in this setup. So the leaf litter bed is kind of static. It doesn't move around and... Uh, uh, there's no disturbance to the uh, substrate. So what this means is that if you want to uh, keep fish that prefer uh, fast, uh, fast flow, fast current, uh, like for example some uh, plecos or corridoras or maybe some species of carotins, uh, probably it will be a challenge to keep them in black water because it would be preferable for you to keep your black water tank uh, without a strong current, without strong uh, flow of water. Yeah, I know this creates a problem of dead zones and we're all quite f afraid of these dead areas uh, without uh, water movement in fish keeping but, but that's quite natural in the wild, in swamps and in uh, all sorts of uh, shallow pools uh, where the water is never actually moving around where uh, the only water movement that occurs there naturally is because of the rain hitting the surface which we can imitate by uh, replenishing uh, the water level in our fish tanks or, or making some small water changes so don't be afraid of de dead areas in your black water tank because it's quite natural and this is what happens in swamps for example and in this tank I've, I've been trying to recreate this type of a pit swamp environment with no flow at all so the there's no water movement at all. So I only have fish here uh, which enjoy this uh, still water um, environment. Right, I hope this video was useful and it has helped you at least a little bit in terms of uh, selecting uh, uh, right uh, fish and uh, proper stocking for your black water tank. So as always leave your uh, comments and questions in the comment section and I will see you soon.